So let's do a compare and contrast between the results from 23andMe versus the results from Ancestry DNA. You know, and just doing like the um, racial breakdown results. Okay, from 23andMe, I got. African, you know, sub-Saharan African DNA at 57.8%. While from Ancestry DNA, I got African DNA at 59%. So a bit of a, a small difference there. A bit of a difference, you know. Not too big of a difference, though. All right. You know, but a little bit. All right. European DNA uh, from Ancestry DNA. Well, sorry, from... 23andMe DNA, um, European DNA DNA came at 38.8%, while Ancestry DNA, their test results came back at 38%. Okay, so not much of a difference, really. Not really. All right, so this one, this is where it gets tricky because they have different breakdowns for the Asian and Native American part, right? All right. Let's see. Okay. Um, okay. So for Native American, uh, twenty-three and Me came back at one point six percent, while Ancestry DNA came back at one percent. Right. Not much of a difference. All right. Um. As far as Asiatic DNA, um, let's see, Southeast, all right, let's see, South Asian DNA came back at, from 23andMe at less than 0.1%. Um, the Asian DNA is a little tricky because um, it doesn't quite match up, but I'll take Asian DNA overall instead. So Asian DNA overall is like 1%, okay? While on this test, they have it at like, if I add up all the percentages, it'd be kind of like maybe at 1.5%. Not much of a difference, right? Not really. You know, at this point, we're, we're splitting hairs for the difference, right? And um, is 0.5%. 4% unassigned DNA um, from um, 23andMe, while there is no unassigned DNA from Ancestry DNA, they got me at West Asian at less than 1%, like the Middle Eastern part less than 1%. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it. You know, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed going through this. And my results didn't vary as much as I, and nearly as much as I thought they would. Because um, some people have been like, oh, my results are so different from my results from this place, right? But, you know, my results actually weren't all that different other than pretty much my African DNA. Um, for some reason, I came back at 57.8% uh, instead of 59%, you know, so that's a bit of a, like, hmm, like somebody's snatching my African DNA from me, you know, somebody's stealing my African DNA from me, what's up with that, right? <laughs> like, I need all that I got, right? I can't be sparing. I ain't got nothing to spare, all right? <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys, so... I hope, again, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Hope you were able to get something out of this video. Perhaps this video may hopefully inspire you to learn a bit more about your uh, genetic and DNA ancestry as well. You know? So, thank you, thank you very, very much for watching and going, you know, this video with me and going through this video with me. You know, thank you so much. So, again, um, please. Feel free to leave comments. You know, I definitely enjoy the comments. You know, I like responding to you guys. Again, thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks a lot. Until the next video, adios and goodbye for now.